Hey. Hey, Miles. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I am actually really excited to meet you today. I've been a big fan of your character, Dice, for a long time. And thanks, you dude. are badass and awesome <laughs> on the show. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Where are you? I'm in Saratoga Springs, New York. Cool. It's Saratoga cold, Springs. but I'm, yeah. I'm alive, though. <laughs> It's not that cold yet. I'm in the same chemist. I'm in the same sort of uh, biosphere. So leaves are falling, but it's pretty warm today. So, uh, so since we are doing a chat, okay. yeah, where would you see Dyson right now if you were still playing a character? Ah, oh, dude, that's that's interesting. So, because at the end of it, right, we had the. Bo's kid come in, right? So, you know, and he took over the bar. So he would probably be evolving a bit more into like the sort of maybe he he would go be, start moving towards becoming the Ash or something like that. You know, the leader of the Light Fae. But I don't know. He likes his scotch, and you know, he likes he likes he likes Bo. So maybe he'd just be happy being a barman, Bo lover on the side. I don't know. I'd, I'd leave that to the writers. <laughs> like the time you had to pretend to be Kenzie? Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, did you have like any ideas for your character that you actually got to use when you, like, did sure. you ever, tell, like, tell me? Yeah, so when, when I first auditioned for the role, I, uh, I'm a fantasy sci fi geek. Like, I, I read a lot of books when I was a kid, you know, all in that genre. And so I came in with like a backstory. I came in with like that he wasn't actually aware because in the beginning he was more of a werewolf. And I was like, no, no, he's more like a shapeshifter or like a shaman or a druid. And, you know, and it was awesome to work with. At that point, they only had a couple episodes written. Uh, so the way it worked, we shot that pilot, which was actually ended up being episode eight. You know, where Vex is introduced and he puts the guy's hand to the grinder. That was our oh. pilot episode. And so we had to build season one around that a year later. Like, so all these kind of stories, like the origin stories and stuff, we were, we, we, we had some say in. And um, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's going back a long time, man. That was 10 years ago. But uh, it was a really great, that first season was really collaborative and uh, a lot of fun to build and like, at that point, the show was pretty dark and serious. Like I really, I think season one is the best season in the show, um, and uh, you know we were all really on board with the same team. It was we were trying to make something a little more mature, and then towards the later seasons, one of the executive producers kind of took over, and he wanted like a Buffy derivative, and it just got it just got kind of ridiculous in my opinion. But the beginning was was good. <laughs> Did you have who inspired you to like really put your wolf out there? Did you have like a favorite wolf man that you saw or anything that made you kind of give you inspiration for the wolf? You know, I had, um, I think it was like again, the fantasy novels that I'd read, and then I can't remember like Wolver, like I, I, I read the X Men and stuff like that all the time, like as a kid. Uh, but he wasn't really like wolfy. I don't know really. So I did a lot of body work. I was living in a condo at that time. And, you know, when everyone would leave during the day, I would go down to the yoga gym and there was, you know, a wall of mirrors. And I would do body work of like what, how would a wolf move like in transitionary, like what kind of, a, how, how does this character move as like a wolf? And then that sort of moved into like, how does he stand as a man? And, that's kind of where I built him off of, and then you know the voice and stuff like that. Yeah, but you do you do pretty well. Yet you look like a wolf <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's kind of I don't know. Thanks, bud. Well, it's it's your subconscious projecting Dyson on me. <laughs> I'm actually in character for a British uh, a British series that I do right now. So uh, yeah, I also you put a British accent behind it, and it's also not very wolfy. I also got to see you on Arrow. Oh shit! Right, that was fun. Yeah, man. Yeah, because I I met Stephen Amell uh, at Con like months yeah. ago, and 
he said he really liked working with all of the guest stars, like including you. Uh, oh, he's a good guy. Him and I, yeah. Canadian dudes, we're 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 pretty chilled. <laughs> but anyway, Miles, the time is clicking off, man. All right, but it was all nice meeting you, man, and you too, maybe dude. I'll see you in the future at a con or something. And I we'll, hope so too, man. Somewhere we'll in upstate us, we'll New take, York. We'll take a selfie. Do you bet. <laughs>